it became a big farm with 72 printers here in Brazil and 30 more in the US. We sold 300,000 reais. All sold out. Uh, I think I had maybe 10-20% uh, of my stock left. And see how much money he can actually make with one single printer. I made uh, close to a thousand. $100, $200, $500, $1,000. How much money can you make with a single printer? In today's video, let's explore this question. Well, to start to analyze this question, I want to tell you a little bit about the story of my 3D printing business that I had before STL. I'm an industrial designer and I had a 3D printer ever since I was in college. When I became a professional and I started to work in the industry, I had a 3D printer that I used to print my own stuff. Things that I like to print, my own designs, things that were, that were for myself. Eventually, printers became really good and I thought it was the time for me to start selling my own prints. And this is how I started my 3D printing business, which was called Casa Z. Casa Z was a 3D printing based home decor brand. They used to sell these models, models that I designed. I used to take some really good photos of it, make some nice videos, post them on my e-commerce, on marketplaces, and sell these models. It started in my own bedroom with one printer. Eventually, it grew up to six printers. I had to leave my room. It, couldn't, it wouldn't fit in my bedroom anymore. And eventually, it became a big farm with 72 printers here in Brazil and 30 more in the US. In the past month of Casa Z, we sold 300,000 reais worth of products here in Brazil. So if you get the real to dollar rate, that would be six to one. $300,000 would be roughly 50,000 US dollars, all right? Uh, and if you divide that by 72 printers, that would give me, one second, roughly $694.50. So that was the amount of money that I was able to make with one printer in my shop, $695.50. But you have to consider that these printers, they used to print at the most 40 millimeters a second. We're talking today about printers that can run up to 600 millimeters a second. So the Casa Z story is not the best for us to calculate modern day printers and how much money you can actually make with one single printer. So I'm going to interview a few people that work here at STLflix and sell 3D prints to see how much money they can make here in Brazilian reality with one single 3D printer. But I'm also going to interview an STLflix community member and see how much money he can actually make with one single printer to see if you are within the range, if you are able to make the same amount of money that they are making and obviously find opportunities to make some even more. So I have here by my side, Thomas. He's the one that operates the entire STL Flix 3D print farm. So he has a lot of work. He understands a lot about 3D printing, but also on the side, he sells his own 3D prints as well. So today I'm going to ask him how much money he can make with one single printer. Thomas, conta pra nós como que foi o teu começo com a impressão 3D. Well, in the beginning, I started when I had a cell phone store. I combined my sales of 3D printing products with the accessories I had in the store, such as phone stands and cell phone cases. Over time, I also added home decor items. Soon, I started receiving many orders for decorating pieces I didn't have in the store. When the pandemic hit, 3D printing was what kept me earning an income at home. And how many printers did you have and how much money were you able to make on a good month in total? I had two printers, two Ender 3 models at the time, and I made an average of 2,000 reais per month with each printer. So he was making 4,000 reais a month with two printers. That would be 2,000 reais per printer. If you divide that by six, that would be roughly $350 per printer. So that's the amount of money he used to make on a single printer. And how how long did you keep this business business running? Almost throughout the entire pandemic. So throughout the entire pandemic. That's a very good case. Still talking about the Brazilian reality. I'm going to talk with another guy also here from SCL Flix and let's see how much money he used to make with one single printer. Now I have here by my side Edson. Edson, he not only prints, but he also paints really well. So he might be able to make some more money out of each print because he's able to add value to that by doing the paint as well. So Edson, how did you start 3D printing? So I started out of curiosity. At the company I used to work for, they had an older printer and I found the whole process of turning a file into a physical 3D object interesting, but I didn't have the money to buy one. So I would always hang around talking to the guys there. When it became more popular, I was finally able to buy mine. And which printer it was? It was an Ender 3. It was an Ender 3. And how much money were you able to make in your best month and how many printers did you have? So I had two printers, a filament, and a resin one. I think in one month, I managed to make around 4,000 reais. 
between resin and filament prints. I couldn't earn more with resin because the process is slower and more complex, but I was able to charge a bit more. That month, I managed to make a bit more money with resin. 4,000 reais, if we divide in two printers, that would be 2,000 reais per printer, which would be $350 per printer. That seems like a very good revenue. All right, so to better cover this whole calculation, how much you can make with a single 3D printer, I called in Brendan Eggleston. He's a subscriber of STL Flix. He runs his own shop and we talked with him before because we did some interviews, got feedbacks from STL Flix. Uh, we thought that this was a good profile to bring to this video. And this is Brendan. Brendan, you can talk a little bit about yourself, about your, your company, and then we can go in and dive into the financial details of it. All right. Thank you, Bruno, for having me run Prozora. Uh, that's P-R-I-Z-U. R A, uh, Prism and Aurora is the combination, and it's all nice. about color. And that's what I'm all about. Uh, you can see the background there. I've got a uh, lots of filament. You know, um, started in November of last year, so fairly new to 2024, 2023, 2023, 2024. So, oh my god, uh, that's yeah, really I just started. Yeah, just recently I just started with one machine, really loved it, uh, started making uh, some keychains, just cranked out a lot of keychains, a lot of choices there on STL Flix, I mean, it, I just started making them and made a hundred of them, sold them for like five dollars each and they just went really quick, um, a lot of other people were buying them to hand out to gifts and uh, that really just uh, lit the fire for me to go and um, awesome. December 31st I bought a second machine so it, it you know it's it's good it's uh lots of stuff lots of variety um, to print you can definitely make some good money so from these initial almost three months that you were working with 3d printing what was your best month in terms of revenue so far oh just December uh definitely December I made uh, close to a thousand um with just one machine one thousand dollars with one single machine and that's like a month after you started you went really you got successful really fast yeah, yes um the you know I I got lucky with the holiday market uh I think yeah, you know I gotta take it to uh, account that uh I got in at the uh, best time of the year uh mm -hmm. I hit some markets um so I went local all the stock that I pretty much started printing from November uh into December uh, it was all sold out. Uh, I think I had maybe uh, 10, 20 percent of my stock left. And I'm like, I need to get another machine. <laughs> so you, your printer worked like crazy. It did. It, it worked. I tried to get it uh, worked around the clock. Um, thankfully, no union breaks here. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you were talking that you have a very different approach to pricing. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So I consider my printers workers um, and I try to try to get a certain amount out of them per hour. Uh, so I try to average about $2.50, $3 an hour. Now, sometimes that might mean my prints are going to be sold a little less, um, but sometimes they're going to be sold a little bit more. And my minis are sold one for two or two for, uh, sorry, three for five. Uh, those have a really good profit margin and they are a big seller. Mm -hmm. So they can take up the slack for maybe other prints that I sell for a little less. Uh, awesome. But the one thing you you don't have a little bit more margin on the on the minis yes exactly so i have a higher margin on the minis um and a lower margin on the bigger prints you know the bigger prints are going to be take more time to print and um people aren't going to you know want to pay as much for them mm -hmm. and you sell one of those but you sell 100 minis and it and mm -hmm. it averages out that's awesome and you were you were telling me that you you were going to start documenting your documenting your entrepreneurial journey so tell us a little bit yes about that. so many people have been messaging me in discord i love discord love the stl flicks discord highly nice. encourage it uh asking for advice getting feedback and i thought well i need to take it to you know a central place that people can watch so i'm going to chronicle my journey uh mm -hmm. it's going to be uh on youtube at prezora and it's not only going to be about the the journey of prezora and and my company but also giving tips what's working what's not or answering questions that people ask because i believe that we do not need to be competitive in this market we come together and think of each other's colleagues mm -hmm. and work with each other we've got this huge world out there we don't need to be competitive we can come together and and, and uh, succeed and that's what my channel is going to be about i agree with that as well i definitely agree with that and if we want to give a little tip for someone that might be watching this video and is just starting out maybe he didn't even buy his first printer yet or he just bought his first printer 
uh, what piece of advice would you leave to that person? Do a lot of research and a lot of time uh, getting advice and um, don't race to the bottom. 82% of businesses in the U.S. fail because of cash flow. If you're going to race to the bottom and price yourself out, you're already, you're killing yourself. You're putting yourself out of business 100% guaranteed. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're right on that one as well. All right, Brandon. So thank you very much for participating. I think there was a lot of very good insights that if I was starting out, I would definitely take him. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in the next time. All right. Thank you for having me, Bruno. Good luck, everyone. All right. So what do you think about these numbers? Do you think people are making enough money with a single printer? How about you? Are you making close to what they say or even higher? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to learn more about 3D printing, about entrepreneurship, about 3D modeling, we have the STL Academy where we have courses on entrepreneurship, 3D printing, 3D modeling, a bunch of stuff. Very useful for you to get more knowledge and know better what to do, all right? So if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, share this video with someone that you think is going to find it useful and relevant. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.